Hello, everyone. My name is Chris, and I'm the marketing director at the Benyon Center, um, located here in the Union. Um, welcome back to spring semester, or welcome in general to, to newer transfer students. Um, what the Benyon Center is, we're the community engagement hub here at the university. Um, what that means, we do a lot of stuff. Um, we have a number of programs. Um, and, and there's really truly something for everyone that wants to get involved. Um, there's academic programs, we have a new certificate, we have a scholars program, there's a number of community engaged learning courses. Um, but what we're probably most known for are a lot of the different volunteer experiences, student leader um, positions, etc. So with all of that said, we learned a lot on how best to engage with students and um, in this COVID environment during the fall. So we're excited for spring and, and we hope that, that you are as well and, and check it out. So I think the best thing that I could do is kind of give you my best advice on how to get started with the Benning Center, kind of the best ways to engage, if you will. So I'll share my screen. The Benning Center website, the address is benningcenter.org. Once you go there, um, just taking you through it, just so you kind of have a, a point of reference here. And again, we connect students, faculty, and staff to community engagement through experiential learning, volunteering, and leadership opportunities. <clears throat> and on our website, what I direct you to is just all of the upcoming ways to engage. We update these um, whenever there's something new coming up that's not too far out. Um, so what I'd highlight would be MLK Saturday Service Project. That's coming up on January 23rd. Um, this is an annual event and it's part of MLK Week. Um, there were a number of in-person projects you could register for. Unfortunately, those are all filled, but there are still virtual and self-directed um, positions, spots, if you will, that you could sign up for. So if you click on this link, um, it'll take you there. It'll give you um, descriptions of everything and how to apply or register. And then other things we do, and again, with COVID, we've transitioned to a lot of virtual offerings. This policy and governance forum is on January 27th. Um, there's a number of panelists. Um, we were excited about this. They've been really engaging. In, in, um, if you click here to register, it's as simple as that. Um, other things. Alternative breaks, typically this is a spring break, week-long trip. Um, this year, um, well, this spring due to COVID, they've transitioned really successfully into AD light experiences, they're calling them. And there's two different weekends um, that it's a weekend project as, a, as opposed to a, a week long. Um, but those, the deadline to apply would be January 29th. Um, other things, I'd love to get people um, aware and excited for student leader applications. So this application is open February 1st. This is kind of like a sometimes little known aspect of what the Benyon Center is. Typically people say, oh, that's where you go if you want to volunteer. But there are roughly 150 student leader positions every year. And so this is a great time to check it out, see what positions are available. Um, applications open on the first, and we have kind of different stages, if you will, but every position that's available to apply for will be there. Um, please, we'll add a link here in the, next, in the upcoming week. Well, by the time this airs, it'll be there. Um, and it's something to check out. Um, we hear a lot of positive feedback. It's kind of the special sauce, if you will, of the Benin Center, the student leaders, their engagement, um, the teamwork, sense of community, if you will. Um, service Corner Nights, these are different events throughout the semester where you can work on different projects um, at, at Collard Village, where we also have a Benyon Center kiosk and register for CEL courses. Um, it's not too late, you could still add one. Other things, ways to get engaged would be the volunteer interest form. So if you click on this, and it would, it'll require a unit login. Um, but once you get in here, this is a really good way and probably the best tool to say, hey, I wanna get involved. 
um, in my community with the Benyon Center, what's the best way to get started? So if you fill out a volunteer interest form, there's different areas of interest here. These top six are in reference to our community partnership programs, um, which cover a number of different issue areas from advocacy to education, et cetera. And if you click on one of them, it'll show the individual community partnerships we have and opportunities to volunteer there. Other things in this jumping into service would include outside of community partnership programs, alternative breaks, scholars, communications team, which um, other you might not know, but if you're a graphic designer, photographer, there are volunteer opportunities there as well um, to gain kind of leadership skills and experience. So all that said, if you fill this out, a student leader will get in touch with you, talk to you about what options are available, timing, um, how you can help. From there on this website, um, we have a blog that will post different articles. You can stay in touch via our e-newsletter. Um, an example of that for December and January, it's just kind of ways to engage. So we'll talk about all of our upcoming opportunities, events, applications, um, and it's generally sent out kind of the first week of each month to highlight that month's activities. And then lastly, on um, kind of knowing what you can get involved with. If you click on the calendar, we have all of our events listed um, through spring semester. And, and any changes, any updates, any additions will be reflected here. So it's a good way to kind of look a little beyond what the these top um, callouts are showing you. And then Instagram, if you go to our account, Benning Center, um, this is another really good way just to learn more about the Benning Center, the students, community partners that are involved. Um, through our highlights and posts, you'll see upcoming events. So it's, it's really good for different reminders um, and just to kind of get to know the people. Um, for example, some of the stories talking about CEL courses, various BENN courses that we teach, this policy and governance forum, and then different spring break, or sorry, sorry, um, all breaks experience call outs. And then again, MLK Saturday service project. So all of that said, that's the best way to engage. The one thing, there's going to be a few updates to the beningcenter.org website. Within it, um, it'll likely look, well, it will look pretty similar, but on the students section of our website, one thing I wanted to highlight here is another tool that you could consider using. Um, choose your Benning Center experience. All of our programs organized below by time, interest, and name. So if you made it this far in the video, um, you have kind of the best advice, best ways to get started. Um, now I'll spend just a little bit on talking about the different programs at the BC, what I like to call also experiences. Um, so here's this new tool to help you out. Everything categorized by time, interest, or just its name. So for time, you can look, um, hey, I just wanna get started, don't have a lot of time. So a one-time experience would be service corner and first year experience. And you can come to the website and kind of learn more about those. We have week long plus, experiences. It includes alternative breaks and learning abroad. Semester-based would be the community partnership programs, communications team, and community-engaged learning courses. Academic year would be Utah Reads Tutors, which is a work-study program, um, Benning Center, student leaders, again, applications open February 1st, Benin Service House and the Gail Miller Community Engagement Tower. Um, they're both part of our residential engagement aspect of the Benin Center, which sometimes people don't know that that's an, uh, available. You can live on campus. The Benin Service House is located in Officer Circle and the Gail Miller um, Tower is in the new Collard Village and it's for first year students only. Um, the one thing I'd say here is applications open 
uh, February 10th for all the housing options. So please look for that. And then lastly, kind of longer programs, multi-year would be Benyon Scholars, where you get a diploma designation and it, it involves a capstone project. And then this brand new community engagement certificate, it's our strongest academic credential um, and more information to come there. So all of that said, the last thing I'll leave you with is if you wanted to sort by interest, it goes by volunteer, travel, learn, work, study, live on campus, then lead by example. So all of that said, that's everything at the Benning Center. There's a lot going on. We'd love to see you get involved. Info um, at BenningCenter.org is another good place. If you just have a question, you can email us and, and we'll apply. But that's everything. Thank you.